What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Camaro and today I am headed down to my car dealership. It is super early. I didn't get much sleep last night. I never usually get that much sleep since I always look like a zombie, but I'm headed down to get my A8 transmission recall finally dealt with. So I made a super early meeting. They said they could probably get me out in a couple hours since now the technicians back there have done quite a few cars. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get down there and see what happens. Okay guys, so it looks like the repair is gonna take a little longer than they anticipated, mainly because they're they're backed up in their service department. So they are gonna get me a rental car to take home for the rest of the day. Uh, it sounds like it might be a Camaro 2.0 turbo. If that can happen, that'll be awesome because I would like to do further videos on the turbo. So we'll see, here we go. Well, this is not a Camaro, but it is a Chevy Traverse and I do have a rental car for the day. So, uh, yeah, disappointed, but it is what it is. Let's go take this thing for a drive. Cruising around in a courtesy car. Let me get one of those. Should I get a spark? What do you guys think? Do, uh, do lethal garage with the spark. Spark it up. But now we're going to do little covert ops in the back area. I don't know if I'm supposed to be driving back here, but I really don't care. My car was... Oh, did they already take my car in? They did! Dang it! I was hoping I can catch it. I was hoping I can catch it uh, sitting in the VIP parking. We'll see. Let's cruise around, see if we can see it. I guess there was an accident. One of the porters ran their car into a customer's... Oh, there it is. There she is. She's hiding in the corner. See you later, baby. Stay safe. So happy I got my lift jack points on there now. Don't have to worry about them jacking it up. There's where Paradise does all their detailing. Detail center. So many cars everywhere. There's a nice old school caddy. drive slow through you never know where cars are gonna pop out all these porters and mechanics cruising around use car a lot should we see if uh see they got any Camaros over here see how much they are oh yeah they have a brand new 2016 sitting up there and a red one I got a red one and a black one looks pretty nice Come on down to paradise. Oh, and a, oh, well, it's a fifth gen. Three Camaros sitting on the used lot. How much Cadillacs? So I, I might have said the wrong car, but this was an Equinox. I think this is a 2017 Equinox. Uh, I don't know much about them, but we'll see what kind of power it has. Let's find out around this turn. Put it to the metal. To the floor. Yes. Go. Oh god, this thing is atrocious. <laughs> oh god, I'm so happy I have a Camaro. This is terrible. I mean, it's a family car. So I mean if you have a family and I mean it's it's not completely terrible. I mean the inside's not too bad. I'm not entirely impressed with like the super swooshed center console. It's like totally laid back. So for the touch screen, you have to like, re like I'm sitting back in my seat. I cannot reach that touch screen. I don't like that. So I adjust my mirrors. I do not want to get in a car accident today. But for a family car, if you have a couple kids, need to cruise around town, stay safe. Seems like a decent little car. I don't know what the price point is on these, but interior wise, it's mostly hard plastic everywhere. The armrest has some leather, steering wheel is obviously leather, shift knob has some leather on it. Uh, but that's, 
about it. Everything else is kind of a hard plastic. It's kind of that's kind of a letdown. I don't know. We'll have to see what model car this is when I get out of it. I'm not entirely sure which which version of the Equinox this is. I mean, you can see the doors. They're just very generic. It's obviously not the upgraded package. Very generic speakers and handles and trim pieces. A ton of buttons up here. I've gotten so used to having everything be digital or built into different aspects of the car and the Camaro. You don't realize how many buttons are truly needed to fill in your car. I mean, the other downside here is it's not dual zone. Yeah, it's not dual zone. But the ride is definitely a little bit smoother than a sports car. I shouldn't say a little. It's a lot a bit smoother than tour mode in a sports car. But man, I miss my Camaro already. She's like not in my possession. It makes me sad. I did triple note to the dealership that I had my bolt-on jack points, so they needed to lift the car from those points. And uh, it is it is nice knowing that it's in it's in the bays now, so hopefully it shouldn't take them too long to finish it but uh, the guy who's working on it has done quite a few of the swaps for these so he's very familiar so I'm hoping everything comes apart and gets put back together with without issue because the last thing I want them to do is screw something up and yeah let's just pray everything goes smoothly But cruising in an Equinox, so I fit, I mean my seat doesn't have to go all the way back, so that's kind of cool. Like in my Camaro, I have to drop it all the way down and put it all the way back. In this car, there's probably, let's see how much further I can go back. Where's the button? There it is. Wow, it goes back a lot. Like a lot, a lot. That's like almost 9, 10, maybe, maybe even 11 inches of space. Like I almost feel like I can't touch the pedals. So if you're a big guy and you need a inexpensive car. Hey, right, look, Camaro. Camaro. Nice little burnt orange. But uh, yeah, this car could definitely fit tall people, for sure. Equinox. Check for tallness. So what kind of car is this? Super dusty, because it's dusty out here today. This is an Equinox LT. So it's basically a step above the base model, if I'm not mistaken. It's an okay car. Whatever. So now it's just waiting for GM to give me a call and let me know my car's done. So it was, looks like they were racking it up right when we left, so hopefully it will be sooner than later. Well, it is a beautiful day out and GM just called and let me know my car's done and I will tell you like, so I've been working, I've had my laptop set up out here and my allergies, man, they're just going crazy right now. It's early spring, like I just, I cannot stop it. So I'm gonna have to go stop by the drugstore, see if they they have some allergy medicine I can pick up and see if it helps. Cause like my nose is just so itchy and it's just running and my eyes hurt and like, oh, this is terrible. So, but let's go get my car. Cause yeah, that's more important than my allergies. Do it. Well, it looks like this car does have remote start. Let's see if it turns the AC on like in mine. Dang it. Man, so dusty. Sorry, car. It's a little dusty. Safety first, always put your seatbelt on. And I have no way to close the garage. How do I make this colder? How do I make it colder? It is hot in here. I don't know how accurate that is, but it's already pretty close to 90 degrees outside for this spring day. So if you guys are wondering again, the issue on the transmission recall, the reason why I had to bring my car down 
is there's a bolt, and I don't exactly know where the bolt's at on the bottom of the transmission that, or somewhere along the line of the transmission cooler line <coughs> that can rub a hole in the transmission cooler line and cause problems for you and your beautiful car. Uh, again, this issue is only on the V8 SS's, well, SS is only V8, well, I guess technically there's the ZL1 now, um, but it's the V8 SS A8 Auto that has the problem. So if you're driving a manual six or anything like that, it's, you don't have that issue. I hear I'm done. You are done. I just need to go oh, sign. No, I, had, I had Ryan call you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, just see the catch. Just go sign. Left. Sweet. Thanks, sir. Right, take care. Someone said hello. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm like, where did it come from? Smile, you're on camera. Yeah, I hear it coming. Yeah. Maybe. Are you gonna, yeah, it's, it's, it's a long way away, but I hear it too. Are you going to do a little, uh, get on it on the way out? Which way are you going to go? I usually go that way. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait to listen to it. This is the first time I've heard it pull up since I've had the supercharger on. I've always been the one driving it. Greater Rock. Alrighty then, well, back in the car. Recall's complete. So don't have to worry about that uh, A transmission bolt rubbing on my trans cooler line. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with what the recall is all about, again, I kind of briefly talked about it, but check out the link in the upper right hand corner. And in the description of that video is where you can go to check if your car has any recalls. So whether it's this recall or any of the other ones out there, uh, there's been about four or five recalls now total, um, but they've all been pretty minor overall. So uh, make sure to check it out. But yeah, so my car is checked off the list. So thanks for joining me in this video. It was kind of just a, a ho-hum, getting some stuff done and checking out a rental car. But I uh, appreciate you guys uh, joining me here and if you guys enjoyed the content or are interested in Camaro content or anything American Muscle, make sure to subscribe to that channel by clicking the link below. And uh, if not, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. But if I don't see you in the next video, I do hope to see you on the road.